I'm Sean from Audit Wales's Good Practice Exchange and I'm here with Ellen Nicholas from Conley Council's Community Support Service to find out about the service that has been set up to help the people of Conway during this current crisis of COVID-19. Hi, I'm Ellen Edwards. I'm the Rural Development uh, Strategy Manager for Conway County Boundary Council in my day job. Um, but as part of the uh, recent pandemic, um, I'm here to share with you the um, community support service that we established for the people of Conway. Um, and I am, um, I was uh, put in as the operations manager for that service. So I'll take you through the steps um, and the good practice. So the uh, rural, rural team in Conway um, decided pretty early on um, before the lockdown that um, we weren't about to go home, close our doors on our communities, that we wanted to make sure that we were going to be doing something for, for their benefit. So um, in the middle of March, we set up um, a... Um, a helpline uh, to assist people who didn't have family and friends in the area to, sh uh, to sh with shopping and picking up prescriptions. Alongside this, a database of 280 volunteers was established. Um, and this worked well for the first few weeks of the pandemic and at the height of, of calls and that, but to ensure that we could provide a long-term resilient service, we strengthened the process and moved on to use CCBC redeployed staff. The new service was launched on the 1st of April and also an app was created to support the telephone offer. Uh, an IT system was developed to record calls and service requests and all of the call handlers um, received training and the whole staff team working to an agreed risk assessed protocol were, and those were regularly update, updated. Um, having good working relationships with Conway CVSE meant that we were able to signpost the volunteers that originally signed up to us to the Conway Voluntary Service Council. We also established relationships with local volunteer groups um, so we could draw on if we saw high levels um, of CCBC staff sickness during the coronavirus peak. A separate team was established to deal with the shield inquiries um, from Welsh Government scheme. Um, but while they may, may have called just for a food parcel, they very often did not require the food parcel and um, they would ask for assistance with prescription deliveries or other general advice. So this um, service is also uh, an important part of the overall um, support service. The services continued to be promoted broadly through websites, social media and traditional channels. A newsletter was sent to all 56,000 properties in the county to promote the offer and we've also updated the council website to include the list of local shops who are offering local food deliveries. This is an example of the um, leaflet that went out to all properties um, within the county with a, a note from our um, leader, Councillor Sam Rowlands as well. Um, and I've also included a couple of videos, both bilingual, of the work of the Community Support Service um, and they're on YouTube and the links are there for you to follow. Uh, also, Councillor Sam on the left there, he's done um, um, a video, Councillor Charlie McCoubrey um, in the middle there and our Director of Economy in Place, uh, Jane Richardson, on the right hand side. They've also, they've all, um, three of them have mentioned um, the importance of this service um, for the people of Conway and these also appear on YouTube for you to, to have a look. Um, process overview. Um, the service was organised to align with the five areas of the local area forums in Conway. Um, three teams were established, call handlers, brokers to allocate the work and then the shoppers and deliverers um, on the ground and they were the CCPC redeployed staff. At its peak there were 206 staff working on the service. They weren't all part at uh, full time, um, they spent part of the working week undertaking other work. Um, so the breakdown is there for you to see, call handlers, um, 20, but eight of those on the shielding calls, brokering 57 and deliveries 129 and this was at its peak. Um, the service was orig originally established um, to provide a 9 to 5 Monday to Friday and a 10 to 2 weekend service but since early May we adjusted that provision to weekdays only as the number of we uh, calls over the weekend um, did seem to to uh, decrease. Um, Gallo Goval um, provide an emergency service over weekends and bank holidays and that remains now as well. As of the 1st of June yesterday um, we've received just over 4,000 calls um, and these calls have resulted in just under 1,700 requests for services throughout the county. We shouldn't either forget the 
well, just under 1,500 calls taken from mid-March until 1st of April, which was the early lockdown period and the height of panic. Um, there's been an additional 468 calls on the shielding scheme, which resulted in 347 service requests and 178 food parcels ordered. Now that the supermarkets and people have got their processes together um, and the people of Conway have settled into some kind of routine, um, we're averaging up between 80, 90 calls a day um, and these average uh, about 40 to 45 requests. We are now in the process of transitioning the service um, to enable some of our redeployed staff to take to, to return to their usual day jobs or take on other roles. Um, so that's happening as we speak. So um, yeah, we're reducing the service um, uh, day by day now. The service has been inv invaluable to the people of Conway um, and we're fortunate that some people have, uh, or the service users have taken the time to contact the local authority with words of gratitude um, and I've, I've included some there for you to read um, at your leisure. That's another one. Um, yeah, to summarise really, it's been clear that the community support service has been hugely valued by those who are vulnerable or shielding and by those who live far from based relatives who are vulnerable and shielding far from Conway based relatives. We believe that our ability to set, a, set up and provide such a very locally based community support demonstrates the important role local government has to play in crises like this. Um, in recent years, there's probably been no other service that the council has provided that has been more greatly appreciated by those residents who have been the beneficiaries of it. What worked well, the service itself, um, it's, and the number of people that we've assisted, it's um, been phenomenal and it's been quite uh, heartening um, at times to hear the, the, the compliments and, um, and, the, and the work that's going, going on. The cross-departmental working has been amazing. Um, this is the time that Team Conway has come into being um, and I'm proud of, um, of working for Conway County Council. I was before, I'm even prouder now. Um, identifying staff with skills that have not been recognised before. Um, this has become really clear that people have been able to turn their hands to different duties, different roles, and they've really come into play. Um, I think that we need to, to keep this momentum going going um, as we carry on. What didn't work well? Um, managing people's expectations really around essential shopping, the, sh the uh, shopping lists that we received early, very early on, um, I'm sure would make you, make you giggle and the, there'll, there'll be stories that we'll keep, that we'll keep on, um, that we'll uh, share with people for, for years to come, I'm sure. Um, and that's it as far as the presentation. Uh, happy to take any Happy to take any um, further questions from you, Sean. Okay, that was very interesting and really good to see how the, the service is set up and how it works and how it helps people. Um, one thing I wanted to ask is, is there anything that you learned during the setup of the service and operating it that you think that you will or should carry on with this, when things return to whatever normal looks like. Yeah, um, there are discussions underway um, about, you know, should we, should this be a service that the local authority carries on, um, possibly another 12 months, possibly indefinitely. Um, we, we don't know, and that's not my decision to take, but, um, you know, people have, um, counts, county councillors and um, the, the, the staff, the directors and that have recognised the importance of um, and how valuable the service has been. Um, so, you know, there's discussions that need to be had. Um, working closely with the third sector as well, and also getting engaged with, um, much closer with groups, established groups around COVID. There's so much community resilience out there. Um, and so much goodness around the volunteering and that that we need to keep momentum going um, if we can so that would be also another avenue that we need to keep keep working closely with uh, just strengthen the connections between the council and the community yeah yeah i mean they were strong before but this has just proved that you know having those good working relationships has been made has made things work even better under a crisis or during a crisis yeah not quite out of the case, is that? No, so, no, this, yeah, there's still, there's still some way to go. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's also shown as well, Sean, is um, what, what we're able to do when the going gets tough um, as far as processes within the local authority. Um, we, we're no different to any local authority or other public sector in that way, you know, red tape and bureaucracy does take over sometimes, but um, it's, it's proven as well that, you know, I, I'm all for 
audits and keeping in line and, and all the rest of it, but we can cut out a lot of that um, red tape and bureaucracy, I'm sure, going forward. Um, and, you know, we can channel our energies into delivering better services or, or other services for the county that possibly we weren't doing before. So, um, yeah, perhaps re reassess um, where we're going and what the world looks like post-COVID. Yeah, I think a few people are reassessing the world as, as they go on. It's interesting to see that. Yes, but it's, feel there's an energy. Been, um, yeah, it's been heartwarming though, the, the, um, and how people, how staff have been more than happy. Um, it's quite humbling really to, to try different jobs and, you know, to go out shopping. And, you know, these, these were people that right at the height of, of this um, pandemic, um, you know, we were not quite sure, you know, they were putting their own, not lives at risk, but, you know, they were going out and shopping and, and it was a whole new, you know, these are redeployed staff and it's, you know, as I said in the presentation, it's, it's Team Conway at its very best. Well, that's really nice to hear and to hear that, that, that coming together. Yeah, and it's, you know, we, we were lucky with the project board established um, and to get the, the wealth of knowledge and experience on that project board to take things forward. We've had support right from across the county, um, you know, county councillors and, and directors and uh, especially chief exec, um, you know, so it's, and the leader. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's been really good. Probably one of the best projects I worked on probably because you know we've we, we know that we've really made a difference to the people of Conway. Yeah well we said that right from the start you know we're, we're a small team the rural team we're a small team of seven um, based in in Tlandros, but we said you know we're not going home and as I said at the start and closing the doors in our communities um, we need to make sure that we're making a difference and you know we're lucky that we we've got the technology and that to be able to do it so um, yeah all good. Well, um, thank you very much for speaking to us. It would be really interesting to find out what's happening. You're very welcome. If there's any more information you need, please don't hesitate to contact.